Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing Cold Waters. We are still continuing our North Atlantic 1968 campaign, where at the end of last episode, we were given the task of intercepting, um, I think it was a cruise missile submarine, um, wolf pack? In the North Sea, of all places. Um, let's check that right quick. Numerous enemy diesel electric subs operating in a wolf pack headed for the North Sea. Destroy one or more cruise missile submarines with escorts. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. And in the North Sea, of all places. That's going to be them. See if we can maybe intercept them out here. Might be a little deeper than the original spot that I was. All right, so scattered light breeze. Um, that should be upper 70s, maybe 78, 79, maybe maybe 77. I'm not sure. So we are fully loaded with our Mark 37s. So let's just. Uh, Uh, 15 or 10 kiloyards. We are, you know, very slow. Let's, let's close to 15 kiloyards. No, let's do 10 because these are diesel electric subs. <laughs> They're going to be quiet. On sound rig ship for ultra quiet. 79 decibels. And we do have about 700 feet to work with. This is a Juliet, maybe, not a November. Yeah, I'd say it's a Juliet. Con sonar, Sierra Ooh. 1, is classified as submerged submarine. So this is one of our mission targets, if there are more. Same layer as us. Let's dive down to 250 feet. Post haste. Make depth two five zero feet. Dive by. That should allow us to get a little closer. Also, I'm not sure why we are on the northeast side of them. Are they heading towards us? Come right to two five zero helm I. Semi noisy. Maximum speed of eighteen knots. Should be passing below that uh, thermal layer here in a second. This is a moderate duct, so it does carry sound a little better. Con sonar lost contact. Are Sierra you kidding me? Last bearing two, three, six. Contact faded. Con helm steady course. Huh. Well, based on the numbers, uh, getting higher, dive at two, five, zero feet, dive by. I'm guessing that the Juliet is heading our way. Or is dead stopped in the water. One of the two. Let's continue like this for a bit and see if she comes back.
I guess we should head directly Helm towards two, that bearing. Two, three, five. Helm I. And because of those numbers, I'm a little... I don't want to speed up. All right. Ah, there you are. Sierra one bearing two two seven. All right. Apparently, we are in the baffles. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. So we are going a little faster than she is. Now are you actually 15 and a half kilo yards? Come left to two con helm steady course. Trying to get some some legs in here to get this solution up faster, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Seems to be increased. Com sonar new contact bearing one three eight designated Sierra two. What are you? It's kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go quiet. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Because I cannot make out these bars. Not a foxtrot. Con sonar new contact bearing two five eight designated Sierra three. Are you a merchant? You might be a trawler. Con sonar Sierra two is classified as merchant. And Sierra three. Kind of far away. Is that another golf? Maybe a foxtrot. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as submerged submarine. to do here. Well, let's get above the layer here and see if we can actually close in on the Juliet. Yeah, that's a little better. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Fortunately, con maneuvering. Making turns for one zero knots. Fortunately, uh, the diesel electric boats are too slow to outrun these 
very slow torpedoes. Con, dive at two zero zero feet, dive by. Still in the Juliet's battles. And that Foxtrot is very close to hearing us. How close are you? I mean, he'll be able to hear us, but won't be able to uh, get a ping return. We're getting a solution on the Foxtrot faster than the Juliet. Are you really? Con Helm, steady course. And so far, it seems like this is everything. Not unless there's something else somewhere that's just being super duper stealthy. I mean, it's possible. There's the Foxtrot. He is way closer. Rig ship for ultra quiet. What is this? Yeah, that bought us a little bit more time. And you are at about 450 feet. Let's make that 250. We might be audible immediately after getting below the layer. So what do these numbers turn into? Oh, no, we're still good. Dive at two, five, zero feet, dive by. Tempted to just go ahead and fire. Let's get this torpedo into the baffles. We finally have a position on the Juliet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 0, 9, 1. Contact is in the baffles. Come left to two, three, zero. Helm I. Don't break the wire. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing zero eight eight. I'm not sure exactly where the baffles cone is, but this fox trot is turning, Con Helm, or at least was Eddie turning. Court.
starting to pull away a little bit too. Uh, but I mean, they're both going eight knots, so they suspect nothing. Yeah, this torpedo should be in the baffles now. Speed up time a little bit. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 0, 8, 0. Contact is in the baffles. Oh, well, he heard. Launching a line directly at it. Down the bearing. Hi there. You are quite boned. He's going to try and turn the other way. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con Ping. Noisemaker bearing. One, Ping. nine, oh. seven. Yeah, there's no avoiding this, buddy. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Right in the propulsion. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing one nine two. Contact breaking up. Well, that is a come left to dead two, fox truck. Two, four helm I. And this torpedo that he launched just goes out the window. Still at the Zero surface. Knots. Maneuvering eye. So let's go ahead Con, and no. steady course. Close in. Juliet turned around. We're gonna stay ultra quiet. Oh. Never mind, we're going 10 knots. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Come left to 188. Eight. Helm I. Yeah. She can almost get a fix on us if she pings, but not quite. And she has no reason to. Let's take a look at this. Kinda chunky. She thick. This is gonna take two. Con helm, steady course. Shoot two three. I sir. Oh. Con well. sonar. Launch transient from Sierra. One. All right. Come left to one four one. Helm I. Con sonar. Switching to active search. I mean, she's got our number now.
Surprised she isn't cavitating. She's shallow enough. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. This one will definitely be picking us up. It is Console. time to we rock and roll. Yeah, I expected as much. We're having to uh, do some maneuvering here. Passing for con sonar, no longer cavitating. Getting close to the bottom here, though. That's not fun. Let's see if we can get out of the search cone. Also, we need to reload our tubes. Because we are in for a brawl. Con sonar, noise maker bearing two, zero, five. I wonder if. Nah. Alright, so we've avoided that torpedo. Let's close in to knife fighting range with a Juliet. Oh! Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's see if this does anything. Passing 400 feet. Con sonar, noise maker bearing. Well, One, that's a hit. Nine. Aye, sir. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Got her. Maybe. Right into the soft underbelly. Con, sonar, switching the passive search. Yeah, let's just go ahead and turn that right on around. Excuse you. Why did the surface running torpedo not What the hell? Sonar, noise maker bearing 3 0 yeah, that's not really going to do much for you. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. No, it isn't. We avoided the countermeasure. What the shit? Surprised that this Juliet is able to maneuver so well Console, being on the surface. Three, three, two. And there's a Juliet. Awesome. Good shit. Surrounded by noisemakers. And a dead submarine. We still have some ordnance. Ten Mark 37s and six Mark 16s. So let's uh, reload these before getting out of here. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready.
Took out the Juliet and the Escort. Come on, torpedo room, tube three ready. With no indication of any other subs in the area. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. And that is our cue to get the hell out of here. Yeah, it was just... Oh, it was a Romeo. Well, isn't this, uh, poetic? Romeo and Juliet, both dead. It's a tragedy, I tell you. That's what I'm going to name this episode. Tragedy at Sea. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> fine work dealing with those boats, Commander. Your contribution to the war effort will make transit for our convoys a lot safer. And supporting the troops on land is what the Navy is about. Keep it up, Commander. Stand by for new orders. Soviet sub spooked. Incidents involving attacks on transatlantic convoys by hostile submarines in and around the North Sea have rapidly diminished. An anonymous spokesperson suggested increased NATO submarine operations in the area are a contributing factor. However, the Pentagon has refrained to comment on submarine operations. And they weren't even in the North Sea yet. We intercepted them on the way down the Norwegian coast. Alright, it's fine, whatever. Wait. Yeah, no, they weren't in the North Sea yet. Whatever. And for the next mission in the next episode, Intelligence has discerned a pattern to movements of enemy at-sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, is expected to sail from Archangel shortly for a rendezvous somewhere in the Norwegian Sea. You are ordered to find and sink this group. You may also get a chance at the enemy warships this group is intended to support, but tenders and tankers are the mission target. So somewhere in the Norwegian Sea, fortunately, we still have this sonar buoy line. And we're just going to go ahead and save and quit here. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.